Uh, Panos, let's talk to you next. Uh, you run a, a, a number of hotels uh, and develop hotels on the mainland and Greek islands, uh, Panos Paleogos. I, I'm assuming now that the, the worst measure for you is this uh, promised increase in VAT. That will affect your business, won't it? Uh, well, good evening, Phil. Good evening. Uh, yes, it, it will certainly affect everybody's business, actually, since VAT will be increased on the Greek islands. Um, at least uh, we have managed to keep uh, the VAT on hotels on uh, 13%. Uh, this is something that our association, SETE, the Association of Greek Tourism Enterprises, we have been... Uh, we 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 proposed that to the Greek government uh, because uh, uh, I think that was a very responsible thing to do. We said that if our country is in problem, tourism sector must contribute on that. Uh, let's go from five point five point five to thirteen, and we proposed this ourselves. We we hoped uh, that this wouldn't be increased to twenty three because that will uh, take us out of the competition since all, all other countries that we compete on tourism sector like Spain, Portugal, Italy and, and France, they have a 10% VAT on hotels. So I think we're going to manage with 13. Anyway, it is a difficult situation. Every Greek and every businessman in Greece must be responsible to contribute in this extra effort that every Greek has to do during these difficult times. So you sound positive at making the effort. Let me ask you this, Panos. Do, do you feel your country's been punished for that referendum vote the previous Sunday. Um, well, to be honest, I, I do not exactly feel this way. I think uh, that there is lack of trust, uh, as you described before, but uh, this has been created by mistakes from both sides. Uh, I'm sure that uh, our governments and our politicians uh, have not managed to uh, do very well with the restructuring of the economy. But at the same time, uh, the Greek people have suffered a lot. And I think we were given the wrong medicine. I mean, all the measures we had uh, been imposed from EU the previous years hadn't exactly uh, recovered our economy. There is, uh, there is no growth in our economy. Uh, at least uh, in the tourism sector, we had a very positive and still uh, we have very positive results, and I think it's one of the areas that uh, the Greek economy, there is uh, a great potential to recover and make growth. Um, so, to be honest, I do not exactly feel uh, like uh, punishment. We are part of Europe. We always considered ourselves part of Europe uh, because of our culture, because of the way we feel. Uh, I think uh, there is a problem in the communication and uh, there is also a problem in the, the way to do things. Uh, somebody must study Greek economy a little bit better uh, before uh, asking for restructuring and new measures. Anyway, every Greek is very responsible, especially uh, people in the tourism sector. You know, we feel a little bit that we are part of a bigger world. We don't exactly feel... Um, because every day we welcome in our hotels people from all over the world. Uh, so we understand uh, it is necessary to do this extra effort. The Greeks, we must try harder, and we need every help from our government and every help from the EU. So this must be the last program in Greece, and we want really to make our economy successful. Sure. Thank you for talking to us. I appreciate your time. Panos Paleogos, who... 